Hello, my name is Ponder Abra Goddard. It's July 22nd, 2020, the longest year any of us have ever experienced, I suppose. And, uh, and we're just halfway through it. And I'm speaking to you right now because things are happening really quickly right now, right? So stormtroopers are invading various liberal cities in the country. The death toll of a pandemic is rising faster in the United States of America than pretty much almost anywhere else. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. The zeitgeist of total systemic failure and social collapse is obviously a lot to deal with all at once. And it's too much to think about all at once. But um, I believe that I have some thoughts, some concepts, some vocabulary that can at least help some people make a little more sense of what's going on and how we can participate without fueling the fire of destructive cycles and without feeding uh, destructive or abusive or exploitative systems. So that's what this channel's all about. That's what this project is. The idea of 2021 Truth and Reconciliation is that we need to prepare ourselves now to say I'm sorry. We need to pre prepare ourselves now to forgive each other for making it worse when we didn't necessarily know we were making it worse. Whatever that was that we did that made it worse. We're gonna need to prepare now to forgive ourselves and each other for a lot of things that we've done either habitually or blindly or in some cases actually maliciously. And we're gonna have to learn how to look each other in the eye again and rehumanize each other beyond our mutual contempt and shame. And that's what's been on my mind since quarantine began. How can I help the project of truth and reconciliation? So I invite you to become an Ashcan Catalyst, to become an Ashcan Kitten, pull up a cushion, sit with me, have some infinite tea time, and uh, we'll explore some vocabulary, some concepts. Most of all, I'll be leaning on, leaning heavily on, or shall I say drawing great strength from the work of two particular scholars, at least to begin with, uh, Rian Eisler, and Robert J. Lifton. And I believe that bringing these two uh, scholars' work together, especially to begin with, will really help us make sense of what's going on around us, what it is we need to wake up from, and how we can rebuild our relationships, our social structures, an entire culture from the ground up, and how we're going to do it. Obviously, that's a lot more than I can come up with by, by, by myself. I'm just here to create the tea time and share what I have. And I welcome you to share your thoughts, your questions, desires for clarification, desires for exploration. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm going to be trying to practice a certain kind of inquiry and a certain kind of open dialogue here, but I'm not going to allow any kind of abusive speech and if I happen to say anything harmful, I hope you'll let me know. And, um, and I will, of course, uh, do my best to be accountable to any harm that I'm doing and to do better in the future, which I think is all that we can ask of ourselves and each other right now, especially because a lot of our eyes are being opened to harm we were doing that we didn't know we were doing. Simultaneously, we are unnumbing ourselves and realizing all the things that are hurting us that we pretended weren't hurting us. So uh, I have to say, Rian Eisler's work is tremendous to help understand these systems at every layer, the micro and the macro, the systemic perspective, uh, what's going on, what it means when the president of the United States tells a bunch of governors, you have to dominate, you have to dominate your streets. We're gonna start looking at that. And also with Robert J. Lifton, we're going to be looking at uh, cultic group behaviors, France inductions and thought reform programs, meaning like what people call brainwashing. There's a reason everybody's using the Kool-Aid metaphor lately. 
And so we're going to be talking about that too. We're going to talk about the Kool-Aid metaphor particularly, and we're going to talk about what Rion calls the domination trance and um, how each of us are under it to a certain degree and how we can all help each other wake up from it. So I hope you'll come and, and be part of this project of Truth and Reconciliation 2021 here at the Ashcan Catalyst. Thank you for being here. If this interests you, if you think it would interest a friend, please like and share. We're just getting started, so be patient and grow with me. All right, thank you.